The picture shows an indoor space, possibly a technology room or a classroom. There is also a camera on a tripod. Coy. Yes. Sounds like the cameras are all set up and ready to go. Let's do it. Hi all and welcome back to the channel and boy howdy do we have a doozy for you today. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Be My Eyes app which we have looked at before Corey, allows you to connect yep. to uh, sighted volunteers to assist you with any questions that you might have but what if you don't want to talk to a person Corey? Yes, I often feel that way. Exactly, sometimes you just don't want to talk to anybody but you still need to know about what's around you and luckily Be My Eyes have got a new update. It's the Be My AI portion of the yes. app, Corey. The AI stands for? Arthur Indigo. Precisely. So what happens is you take a picture yes. and Arthur Indigo, who's on a computer somewhere, he writes, tells you what the picture is about and everything is great. It's amazing how much uh, Arthur has to do with He's everybody. A hard worker. He with, with the uh, everyone incorporating chat uh, or uh, incorporating GPT four yeah. into all their products. Yeah, I feel really bad for AI, uh, Mr. Indigo. <laughs> He's a very He's busy very man. Very tired. <laughs> I wonder if he uses. Well, no, he is. Oh, he can't endless, use himself. It's an endless circle. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, we are being facetious. AI stands for artificial intelligence. Now, Corey, we looked at the Envision in our previous video. Yes. If anybody hasn't watched that, go back and check it out because the Envision glasses are pretty cool and they also use AI and we're talking GPT-4 and uh, what that allows you to do is get a lot of information about pictures that you have taken mm -hmm. and for Be My AI we can use the phone camera to take a picture it will tell us a lot of information about what's in the scene but we can also use it to ask questions and get even yeah. more detail about what we're interested in. Pretty cool stuff. How much does it cost Corey for the app? It is, uh, let me double check, mm. it's currently on sale oh, good. Yeah. for zero dollars. Completely free. Well, we all know, Corby, that uh, anything free is not worth having, right? <laughs> so don't bother downloading it. You know, watch the video. That was a quick, <laughs> that was a quick end, but... <laughs> uh, I kid, it's a very nice app. So with that being said, I think we should get into it and check out what it can do. Corey, in our previous video, for those people who watched it, and if you didn't, go check it out. Shame um, on you. Shame on you, okay. exactly, yeah. Uh, we made some pancakes and some can cakes. Oh, two kinds of cakes everyone two should make. Two types of cakes, they yeah. both turned out very badly, as we saw in the video. <laughs> yes, if anybody uh, who's watching the video today so, um, tried to make can cakes, then please let us know how that went down in the comments. But I was thinking maybe we could have a duo over here. Okay. I've got a different type of uh, product that I would like you to make for us. Yes. And we're gonna try and use the uh, Be My AI feature of Be My Eyes okay. to identify what the product is and then how to make it. Are they muffins or can muffins? Well, we're gonna have to find <laughs> okay. out. Okay, all right, hit me. Okay, what, literally or? No, okay. hit, hit me with the product. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> nice, thank you. There we go. I should have used Be My Eye AI to see that coming. <laughs> all right, so. I've got the Be My Eyes app open. I've chosen the Be My AI tab across the bottom. Right above that then, the kind of center of the screen, I have a take picture button. So I'm just gonna take a picture of the front of this. Take picture button. And let's see what we get. All right, here we go. Take picture, dimmed. Analyzing picture, please wait. Another quality processing tune, Corey. I like it, we're two for two. Here we are. Do you think this one is better or worse than the Envision? I kind of lean towards this one, Me honestly. Too. It's getting better by the day. The picture shows a hand holding a packet of Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. Ooh. The packet is red and has an image of delicious looking chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> it says ready in three easy steps and makes 12 two inch cookies. The net weight is 7.5 ounces, 212 G. In the background, there is a room with tables, chairs, and a green wall. It looks like a classroom. That's um, tw 12 cookies there, Corey. There is, tw yeah. uh, no, was it 12? Yeah, 12, 12 two inch cookies? Yes. Yes, very good. So we got a lot of information and that's kind of, mm. I mean, this is sort of what's interesting about Be My AI. I think, first of all, you found out what it was, mm -hmm. right? You hear it's Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie, but in, and in most cases, that's all you really want out of it. You're just trying to identify. But I did kind of appreciate the extra detail, mm -hmm. the delicious mm -hmm. looking cookies at the front of the package, Ooh, the net cool. weight, um, how many cookies it made. Mm. And then it was started to tell the, the background too, which we stopped because we really didn't care so much about the background. Uh, Betty, if you're one. listening, we are still open to sponsorship deals. So um, <laughs> Another one. feel free to yeah. get in touch. Jimmy John's fell through on our last <laughs> video. So maybe uh, Mrs. Crocker uh, could so this come is and a, help us. This is 12 cookies. Yes. So uh, obviously eight for me, four for you. So uh, <laughs> now we just need now. to find out how to make them. All right, so that was the front of it. Now let's take another picture of the back because I'm assuming the instructions are 
on the back, and that's where we could potentially ask some follow-up questions. Ask more button. So let's go ahead and clear this out. Vision forward. The picture shows clear button. And we'll clear. take another picture. Take picture button. Take picture dimmed. You are holding a red packet of Betty Crocker cookie mix. The back of the packet has instructions and nutrition facts. Okay, so that's all it gave us, but there's actually more on the uh, uh, on the app right now. So if I go ahead and swipe, I should get some of the nutrition facts and I should get the instructions. So let's just take a look quick. The instructions mention that you will need. Okay, swipe mm -hmm. again. Three tablespoons of butter or margarine, softened. Mm -hmm. One tablespoon of water. Now, one thing I like really quick here mm -hmm. is that each of these are instructions yeah. are on their own line. That's so clever. rather than it just reading it all and I got to go back and forth each time. Now, is that because Be My AI did that or is that because that's how it's formatted? That on is the a product? great question uh, that I do not have an answer. Maybe I'll ask Be My AI <laughs> if it knows. The nutrition facts state that. Okay, now we'll skip the nutrition facts, but let's You don't want to know what those are, trust me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I want to do a follow-up question. That's one of the really cool things about Be My AI, is, and, and really the cool thing about GPT-4, is that we now have the ability to ask a question based off of the picture it took and the information it gave us. So one of the things I would like to know is what to preheat the oven to. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and find the ask... Uh, Total fat, ask more. There we go, an ask more button. Message, text field, message, text field. It and this just brings up a standard text field I'm going to dictate. What should I preheat the oven to? Inserted, what should I preheat the oven to? Clear text, send message button. And we'll send it. Send, please wait, be my AI is writing a message. Okay. Here's Arthur typing away, Mr. Be my AI, the picture is not clear enough for me to read the oven temperature for oh. preheating. Could you please take another picture focusing on the instructions part or tell me if you need help with something else? Now, I like that as well. It's not a simple, I don't know. It tells us why it can't do it. It's just not a clear picture. It would be hard, though, for you to take a picture focusing on the instruction part because you don't know where the instructions are on the back of the box. Yeah, but I do think it would, it's, it's, you would just try another picture, maybe get yeah. the camera a little bit closer. Mm. But one thing you can do is from this screen, you can just go right to a Be My Eyes volunteer, sighted volunteer. Mm. So maybe you try once or twice and you just can't get a good picture of the instructions and that could be because this package is kind of curved mm -hmm. so depending on where the instructions are maybe I'm just not catching it or it's glossy too mm -hmm. so it's not getting a great image so I could just go right to getting a be my eyes volunteer and just kind of skip the AI piece if we want it to all right all right, let's move on to another real world example. I don't know about you, Corey, but I think I'm ready to take a seat and sit down and relax. So maybe we should figure out whether Be My AI can help us with that. Aren't you <laughs> sitting now? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a number of apps that allow us to take a picture and get a description of the scene, but with the integration of GPT-4 in Be My Eyes, now we can get even more scene description asked and ask more important follow-up questions. So I'm gonna take a picture of the scene in front of me. I'm hoping maybe there's a bench for me to sit on. I'm getting tired. Take picture, button. Take picture, dimmed. Analyzing picture, please wait. The picture shows an outdoor scene with a man sitting on a bench. The bench is located under a structure with a roof that is supported by columns. The man is wearing sunglasses, a black jacket, and jeans. He is sitting with his legs crossed and appears to... Okay, so we got a lot of really good information, including that there is a bench and a, uh, a man sitting there. I, I think this man, I, I might want to sit next to him and talk to him. But for me, as somebody who's blind, what's even more important is to know what side of the bench can I sit on. I don't want to sit on this man's lap. So I'm going to ask a follow-up question and find out what side of the bench he's on. Ask more button. Message. Text field. Message. Text field is editing. What side of the bench is the man sitting on? Inserted. What side of the bench is the man sitting on? Clear text. Send message. Button. Send message. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. Be my AI. The man is sitting on the left side of the bench. Now I know that the right side of the bench is free, and for me, that's more important information than just some kind of general description of the scene in front of me. 
I love that GPT-4 is being included in more and more products. We saw it in the Envision. Now we're seeing it in Be My Eyes. And it just gives a whole nother level of access uh, to, to images. It sure does, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> what can we say, though, about Be My AI that we didn't already say about Envision? I mean, it's basically the same thing. This is my question. Yes, although I do have something to say, but you go first, question. If we have a myriad of new products yes. engaging with GPT-4, which of course we are going to. Yes. Do we end up just giving the same summary at the, at the end of each video? Should we just co should we just copy and paste? No, this? because we had this conversation yesterday, and we I don't sure want to dive did. too into into the weeds. But I think that yes, all these companies are accessing the same service, the GPT-4 service. Yeah. But I think where companies are going to shine is what they're asking GPT. In my opinion, the level of, of uh, information and the way that information was provided by Be My AI mm -hmm. was definitely on another level and in my opinion, better than what Envision was doing. Corey, have you heard of science? Um, yes. Okay. I've been blinded by it. <laughs> Do you know that song? Uh, no, but uh, Jonathan, if you could put that in the background, please. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. Uh, yes. So, Corey. Yes. I think what is needed here is a scientific test. Okay. We take in Envision. Save to photos. You be quiet, please. <laughs> well, it was just telling. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> we take in Envision. Yes. We take a Be My AI. Yes. We take an identical photo okay. as far as possible, mm -hmm. and we see whether the results come back the same. We'll have to try that. Okay. But in order to make it scientific, yeah. we must wear lab coats. Obviously. That is the only way. And we must have a beaker in front of us. And <laughs> Corey, then... out, uh, Bunsen burner too. Let's yes, Bunsen burner and beaker. Uh, outside of videos, Corey, I always, I always wear a lab coat. I was just doing a beaker uh, impression from the Muppets. Please, <laughs> <again>. <laughs> Beaker, a copying machine is completely harmless. Do you know, do you know Beaker? Jonathan, please put uh, Beaker onto the video. He's, uh, the he's one effects. of the greatest Muppets ever. I, uh, Anyways. I'm not super familiar with the Muppets. Um, I would love for, for down in the comments for anybody that is already using any device with GPT integration, if it's Envision, if it's Be My Eye. Uh, whatever it might be. Throw it down in the comments what your experience has been. Do you find that one gives you more information or presents it in a better way? Throw it down in the comments. We appreciate it. Mm. Go ahead and like this video. Go ahead, what does the kids say? Smash that like button. Hammer it. Hammer it, sma Hulk smash it. Okay. Um, and go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we appreciate, we're creeping up on 4,000 subscribers. So close. Which we're pretty proud of, honestly, um, but by Next week, I'd like to see that uh, fifty thousand. So if those, <laughs> so if you could subscribe, so we, uh, we would appreciate it. Yeah, and if you'd like to get in touch, of course, we have some great ways to do so. You can send us an email. Emails, they are good. Uh, our email address is techconnect@vision-forward.org. So go ahead and type that into your uh, into your client. It could be Gmail. It could be Yahoo. It could be it could Eudora. Be uh, coming up. Back in the day, Eudora. Any any blind uh, any blind user, screen reader user who is watching and used Eudora, throw it in the comments. I've changed my mind. We are only going to accept emails from Eudora from now on. So uh, or Outlook please. Express. Or Outlook Express, <laughs> sure. Or Thunderbird, maybe. So uh, please go ahead and send us an email if you would like to. But some people they don't want to email, and that's totally fine. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. Why don't you leave us a comment instead uh, underneath the video here? And we do have some exciting projects. We have a podcast. We make unique content that is exactly exactly the same as the content you will see if you watch our but tech audio only. Live, but audio only. And uh, you can find that on your favorite pod, pod catching service. Just search for Tech Connect Live uh, or Vision Forward Tech Connect. Yeah, uh, yes, I'll I, find it. Either and you will find it. And we do also have a LMS, Learning Management System. If you feel like you just need to learn that much more, then go check out our LMS. It is techconnect.vision-forward.org. If you haven't nice. been there before, you will have to register. It's a very quick sign up process. And on there, we have lots of entertaining and informative webinars. Not only can you watch those to improve 
everything about your life, but you can also, that might, that might be a little bit That's dramatic. A little overreaching. <laughs> a little bit overreaching, but uh, you can also get to ACV REP credits if you are a professional Free in the field. on demand. On demand. I, we're one of the only people who are offering on demand, so if you need them, if it's coming up, time to refresh your credits because you need that certificate renewed. Well, why not go ahead and check yep. out the webinars and answer a few simple questions and you will be able to earn those credits. Corey, any closing thoughts for our wonderful audience today? Yes, stay tuned. <laughs>